I'm Daniel Carlsberg, board certified cardiologist, fellow of the American College of Cardiology, and associate medical director at the Princeton Longevity Center. In this video, I'll explain the basics of a coronary calcium score and how it relates to the risk of heart attack. The coronary arteries actually sit on the outside of the heart muscle itself. If we were to take a closer look at one of these coronary arteries here, it would look something like this on the inside. Coronary arteries are comprised of a muscular layer on the outside, which helps the vessel constrict and relax, and a thin endothelial layer on the inside. When viewed from a different perspective here, we can clearly see the coronary vessel wall. This is the exact place where coronary artery disease develops. We know that this process starts with inflammation. Shortly after, a thin fatty streak develops in the coronary artery vessel wall. White blood cells, red blood cells, and macrophages soon collect at this site. Additionally, LDL cholesterol also begins to deposit until a lipid-rich plaque is formed. Over time, we also know that these lipid-rich plaques often undergo a process of calcification. As calcium deposits on these lipid-rich plaques, they actually become stabilized and less likely to rupture or break apart. When a coronary calcium score is performed, we take roughly 2 millimeter slices of your heart using a CT scanner. This enables us to see your heart and coronary arteries in enough detail to easily detect calcium. This is how a normal coronary artery looks. You can easily see that there's no calcified plaque. Here's a similar image from a different patient, and you can see that there is moderate calcified plaque in this coronary artery. And, in this example, you clearly see severe coronary artery calcification all the way through the length of the artery. While we know that coronary artery calcification is easily detectable, we also know that non-calcified plaque can also exist. These non-calcified plaques are actually the ones that are associated with heart attacks the most. The problem with non-calcified plaque is that it's at risk for breaking apart or plaque rupture, and if this occurs, that's typically the moment you're having a heart attack. Within milliseconds, platelets start to aggregate, and red blood cells form a thrombus, or blood clot. Pretty quickly, this process continues, and the thrombus occludes, or blocks, the entire vessel. Once a vessel is totally blocked, heart muscle begins to die rather quickly, and, depending on where this blockage occurs, that's what will determine the size of the heart attack. We've known that coronary calcium scores are tightly linked to coronary plaque. In fact, some of the earliest research in this area was done by Princeton Longevity doctors. Basically, the more calcium you have in your arteries, the more plaque you have. We also know that the higher the calcium score, the higher the risk of plaque rupture and actually having a heart attack. To learn more, visit us at PrincetonLongevityCenter.com.